Hello there everyone, my name is Oversoul, this is Oversoul Gaming, and welcome back to Bendy and the Dark Revival. Now, I turned off Bloom in settings, because I'm hoping that it'll help, I ho hoped it would help a bit with the frame rate, and it's still, it, it did help a little bit, it did kind of help. I also turned off Motion Blur, uh, figuring that might help a little bit too, and both of those things did help, but it's still... A little choppy, if you ask me. May, I don't know. Hopefully it'll improve as we go on. Uh, but it'll be smoothed out in editing anyways, so you, as the viewer, probably won't even notice what I'm talking about. It's because I'm seeing the raw image in its original form. Oh, shit. Hello. Well, that was a zap. Alright, then. Where are we going now? Oh, up here. Okay. have a weapon. Yeah, let's hide right in his line of sight. Oh, yeah, he knew we were in here. That's stupid. And he's dead, isn't he? Didn't we see a thing that said he was dead? So why is he... Hmm. Well, he was missing a hand. It was all bone. He was acting very zombie-like. Alright. So we use... Be bacon soup to heal in this too? Yep, we do. I wouldn't drink too much of that if I were you. <gasps> oh it shit! patch you up. But the aftertaste... It's not so good. Is that Alice? Easy now. I'm not gonna hurt you. It looked like you needed some help. Don't touch me. What are you? Ugh, what is this horrible place? What am yeah, I even? I remember my first day down here. I know, it's scary. But you're actually pretty lucky. The machine yeah. could have turned you into a searcher. You mean that, that thing that attacked me? No, that's a piper. And he's part of a gang, so be careful. I don't understand any of this. I can't think. It hurts. You'll catch on pretty quickly, if you can stay alive. I mean, you're the- you're Lesson one of the animators. One. Searchers don't have legs, and they tend to swarm. Look, it's not good to stay in one place for too long around here. Keep moving, and stay close to the shadows. Take my advice. Head to the upper levels. It's safer there. Can I come with you? You can't. I'm sorry. It is Alice. I have a wolf. A wolf. He doesn't care for strangers. Oh, Boris? Or a wolf? Like I said, you'll catch on. Good luck. I hope we meet again. Audrey. Oh, and one more thing. Above everything else, stay away from the Ink Demon. Of course. What's I remember. Ink Demon? Oh, you'll know him when you see him. He likes to smile, and he kills anything that moves. Wait! What's your name? They call me Alice. I'm not very fond of it. I'm Audrey. Well, Audrey, welcome to the studio. Okay, bye. And she just pulled a Batman on us. Okay, all right, okay, all right. We had ourselves a little fright. But that's cool. That's cool. That's coolie ooly dooly hooly. Alright, let's go. Fear game make you never want to trust ladders. This shit will make you never trust climbing up anything ever again.
around here, it's just best to stay out of sight. Don't ever go running into some place if you don't know what's in there. If you attack a problem head on, you're going to find yourself in trouble, and that's just foolish. You gotta watch. Listen. And when the time is right, push forward. Signed your best pal. Okay, I don't know who my best pal is, but... I'll take your advice. And not blindly sprint into every location I go. Oh, here's that mirror part I was talking about. I said that shit at the end of the last episode, and here it is. This is her Soma moment. Okay, I'm gonna go back, though, because I want to see if there's anything at the end of this down here before I keep moving forward to what is obviously progression. Okay, yeah, that's... Okay, that's a door I can't get through right now. Oh, hold on. There's a climby climb here. Aha! A hidden collectible. <laughs> Double quota that Mr. Flynn says. <laughs> Double! I haven't even pulled a full day's work in that old core assembly line in some four years. I don't intend on starting now. things. I mean, I don't really need ink right now or whatever, so... Yeah, so those Gen Corporation boys are kind of strange. Every time I come back to work, they put in even more of their pointless gadgets. Uh, last week, huh, they uh, they built some kind of, I don't know, electrical towers over near Animation Alley. This week, they added security codes for opening doors. Jeez, what kind of What's work the code? They think we Just tell me the code. Anyways. Last I checked, we make toys and silly cartoons. <laughs> this ain't Fort Knox, you know what I mean? Now, it's my job to look over these shipping invoices and remember a bunch of random numbers? Yeah, no freaking thank you! I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna record the door code here so I don't forget it. Alright, thank you. <clears throat> Alright. The code is 451. 451. Uh, Mr. Drew or Mr. Gray asks, you didn't hear it from me, okay? Cool. You think it's safe with me. Alright. Surely we're not gonna... Oh, it's this door. Okay, I thought it was gonna be... I thought we were gonna have to, like, run back to the other door at the end of the... at the end of the thing from before. Okay, I collected some scrap parts, but I don't know what for. Heavenly toy! Yay! How about you stop all that nonsense, eh? Ooh. He sees everything. Well, that's a nice... That's a, I'm taking a screenshot of that. I like that. Okay. Time for another audio. It seems that Archgate Studios, in all its misplaced admiration was so eager to absorb the life's work of that crooked charlatan Joey True, they didn't fully realize what they had acquired. Call it fate that I just happened to be there on the loading dock that morning when the delivery boys dropped one of the crates. It was open and inside there was something truly special. A mass of yellow steel and beautiful rivets. Some kind of machine. No one knew what it was. So the fools put it on display for all to see. But I could tell that this crude device held secrets. Secrets that could be mine. 
Man, whatever that thing was that growled at us and shut the door, I don't think it's gonna be too happy that we're that we're that we just opened the door. Was that was that pipe boy? Look man, I don't have a weapon, okay? You're gonna have to hold off until I can fight back. I know that I should be able to fight back at some point. What's this? What instinctual... What what the fuck possessed her to just punch the glass out of no... Like... How... First of all, why and how would she know to do that? Yeah, I mean, cool. I know ink, because we're an ink monster, ink helps us, but like... I don't know, she was just freaking out about where am I and how am I and what is this and who are you and all of a sudden she picks up a weird object and she's like, you know what I'm going to do with this? I'm going to stick my fist in it, because why not? Ooh, keys. Surely this won't lead to a... okay. Okie dokie, okie dokie, artichokey, what a beautiful doobin. Oh shit. Oh, that's not good. Somebody's patrolling, they hating. Hi, Boris. I had a feeling you're not gonna like us. When we meet you, Boris in the first game was a friend. He was a helper. I just, I feel like in this game he's not gonna be just based off of Alice's warning. I feel like he's gonna be an enemy this time. Okay. It told us to keep it closed and we did not. We should have listened to the cautions. I also switched to playing this game on a different TV. Oh shit! Is that a spider dude? Oh it is, it's supposed to be like that right here. You can save your game anytime in the pause menu, well that's good to know. Good to know, very good to know. That means I don't have to be picky about when I stop episodes or whatever. All right, so we got a spider monster in this one, but he's an old black and white cartoon spider, so he's not really that creepy. Everyone knows that a happy work environment needs a place where you can sit back and enjoy something tasty. I'm Joey Drew, and you're standing in our grand, expensive new employee break room. My company family always deserves the best. By partnering with Briar Label and Tasty Vens, I'm able to provide the most delicious treats at a very cheap cost to our workers. Pull up a chair and chow down, my friends. Okay. So this is like a kitchen. A restaurant. Okay, a hidey hole. Good to know that's there, just in case. Oh god, I saw that pipe over there in the distance and I thought there was a creepy man in a hooded robe standing in the doorway. I freaked out for a second. What's this? Okay. I don't have this ghent or whatever the fuck it is you're talking about. Alright, that doesn't lead anywhere. Ah, see, the frame rate's still kind of choppy. Alright, I'm gonna stop talking about it, I promise. It's just hard for me to not notice when I'm playing the goddamn shits right in front of my eyes. I know that kind of stuff doesn't matter to everybody, though, so... Okay, I can't get through this door, but I need to, apparently. But I was playing this on the big 4K TV before, and that actually made it worse, because it's just the bigger the screen, the more standout-ish the blemishes. So I decided... Oh, shit, nope. That's not what I wanted to do. 
Not yet, anyway. Ugh. Okay. Alright, do I have a key? Locked again? This not, is getting old. Not this key. How are we gonna... Oh, now we're gonna have to break the lock. Oh, we did have the key, but now we gotta break the lock. Okay, because the key snapped off. And now even if we did have the right thing, there'd be no way to fix it now. No way to use... Like, we'd have to get the thing out of the thing. Management has come up with a new way to reward us employees. Instead of paying out bonuses or overtime, they started handing out these little tokens that you can spend in company vending machines. Besides that, these tokens ain't got value of any kind. Obviously, a lot of people didn't like the idea. But the best part about the whole thing is that within a week, someone figured out how to make fake tokens that fools the vending machines. We started calling the fake ones slugs. Now, I can't remember the last time we've seen a real token around here. Them slugs are everywhere. Probably costing the studio a ton of money in snacks alone. All right, got all that stuff. Wait, is this... Is this a weapon? This looks like it's highlighted, like I should be able to pick it up, but it's not letting me, so maybe I'm just... All right, never mind. I know you're out there. Please answer me. Uh, Alice? Hello? Audrey? Oh, I'm so glad you're all right. Uh, Alice. I think you and I have very different definitions of all right. Where are you? Animation department entrance? But it's locked up tight. Good. That means you're heading up. Look for anything you can use to break in. Working Maybe on it. Maybe there's a gent pipe nearby. What was that? There's something in here. Audrey, find that gent pipe. Now. Pretty sure that was. Oh, okay, just stuck a tico pocket. Okay. He's a little shit bastard, did isn't he? Is this not the pipe? It's not, okay. Just making sure. We will go a different way. I got hit. That's my health bar at the bottom center of the screen right there, I think. I'm ready for something different in my career. I've built steel companies from the ground up, dabbled in petroleum, even tried political office once. That Nathan Arch, they used to say. He's got the magic touch. But I'm hungry for a bit of fun, I think. Something both the masses and I can enjoy. My son suggested movies. Yeah, this oh, I knew no. this was gonna cut off the audio. There's the gent pipe. Yep, means I'm gonna have to go around. Way too dark in there. Need to get the lights working first. Okay. So where am I going for the thing I need to do now? And Spidey Boy better not jump out at me again. Oh shit, here we go. Open up. If I find you, I'm gonna rip your face off. Come on, man. Okay, so obviously the place we need to turn the lights on is where this asshole just came out of. But here's the thing also, like, is the spider guy not enough right now? Do we also need one of the blobby dudes? I don't even know who or what he's supposed to be. Oh, he's put, he's making a weapon.
Well, that pipe was there for something, but it wasn't for me. I got my own shit to worry about. Missing a fuse. Let's see if I can find one. Okay, so you lead me here just to tell me that I don't have the thing that I need. Can I go through this door? No, of course not. So I gotta turn around and go right to where I just was again. And he's still here! Where's the fuse? Oh shit. Hey, he opened a door for me at least. He said the ink demon was dead, but I saw him. I did. Oh, fuck me. The fuse is the same direction he's going right now. Alright, let's just keep our eyes on Mr. Happy. He's got like a Cthulhu face. I don't know if you guys can tell that well, but... Alright, I guess we'll go sneaky-deaky for the moment. Save real quick, just in case. Oh, see, we do have to end up going through that door. Okay. I don't know if he's actually nearby, but I'm still. Kitchen's closed! God damn it. Cry for me. I want to die. What? Okay, weirdo. Ooh. Okay. All right. Give me the fuse. Well, happy birthday to me. Oh, zippity doo dah. Oh shit. Holy shit, okay. Seems like a good time to save again, just in case. Alright, we snuck our way past Mr. Happy. Oh, 
Oh shit, he's back in here again, too. Alright. Let's just hope he goes to the right. Okay, good. That'll give me time to go in here real quick and do this. that gent pipe. Lights are on, time to get that gent pipe. Yes, it is indeed, but we're gonna go ahead and save that for the next episode, because I am out of time for today, and I gotta call it here. But anyways, uh, let me know your thoughts uh, about the game so far in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and click that like button, and as always, thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you possibly on another day, definitely at another time, and likely in another video. Okay, goodbye!